Um, the roofs have gotten more expensive in the last couple of years, but you're not responsible for any of this. Mm -hmm. If they don't pay this amount, you don't pay this amount. Mm -hmm. This is just something so we can send over the insurance and, and yeah. I can send the pictures also. Mm -hmm. And that way they know that we looked at it, they know that we have our opinion. Um, this is also including your window over Okay, here. so great. So you will also send your, your pictures to the insurance company? Yep, absolutely. And they're going to, once I, we're going to call them today. Mm -hmm. And once we call them, they're going to call you back in the next 24 to 48 hours mm -hmm. and they're going to give you like a like a window that the adjuster is going to come out here mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask you to text me right away because I want to be here mm -hmm. when they're here sure. and as busy as these guys get sometimes they don't give a lot of notice mm -hmm. um, so just text me right away and uh, I can put it on the schedule we don't do Sundays um, 750,000 houses, they might try to come on a Sunday because a lot of these guys, they come from out of town. Mm -hmm. They bring them in from other areas and they just want to do as many as they can. Our job is to really slow them down and make sure that you get treated fairly. Um, so, so when you do your job, do we have to stay at home? Or? Um, no, actually, I, we prefer if you guys just come home that day in the evening so you can make some oh, okay. dinner. For mm -hmm. me? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. um, no. If it's leaking in here, if there's anywhere that ends up leaking, you do have to be here because we're going to come inside the house. Mm -hmm. But okay. after today, we don't have to get in the house at all, and I'm going to leave you a copy of all this. Mm -hmm. um, now, the adjuster is going to text you the date, and you just text me, and then we meet up, and we basically do the property evaluation. Sure. And then the insurance company is going to send you an estimate, and they're going to send you a partial payment. Okay. okay? Um, once they send you a partial payment, I'm going to ask to sit down again. Maybe you and your husband can sort of start thinking about colors. Mm -hmm. If you want a little bit, um, you know, different color, this is the time to start thinking about that. Before we order any material, I'm going to ask you all to sit down and we're going to sign off on colors and we're going to go through the numbers okay. because they're not going to pay this amount. They're going to come up with their own estimate and I'm just asking your permission to negotiate. So I put a plus or minus in case the day that we start doing the work. We do the roof in one day. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a lot of guys out here. Nice. We, right. We invest a lot of money to try to go fast. But let's say we get to this section over here and there's something we didn't see until we rip the roof off. Now, we're not going to ask, let's say we have to repair some plywood mm -hmm. because it's, it's just not good enough. We don't want to bill you for that. So we're just asking your permission to send the bill to your insurance. They might pay for it. They might not. But I want to put into writing that we can't ask you for any of that because that just makes it easier on the same day that we're out here. We have to kind of take a risk and make a judgment call. But we want to do it right. And obviously, if um, you're happy with the work, you're more likely to recommend this to the neighbors um, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, so how do I spell your first name? Um, could you just put my husband's name? Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Maybe I'll write yeah. it back. And the address It's not a right. yeah. name, so it's not easy. Makes it easier. Mm -hmm. What does your husband do for work? Uh, he's a civil engineer. Oh, a civil engineer? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I was telling my wife I need to go to college. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you... <laughs> but you must earn more than that. No, believe me. If you saw my house, you would laugh at me. <laughs> I would be very happy to get a nice house like this. But I enjoy my job. I've been yeah. doing roofing for many years. And construction is kind of fun. That's the first decision. What do you do for a living? I'm a software engineer. Oh, okay. Wow. Very smart. Thanks. <laughs> My wife is uh, studying nursing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Huge marketing over there. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, sometimes hard to get the, the right classes. She's, been, she's got her, what is it, a nursing assistant uh, credentials, but still waiting to get into the nursing program that she likes. So after that, do they have to certification? Mm -hmm. There's a couple classes that are required for the RN. Mm -hmm. or I think the other one yeah, she's thinking is the nurse. Yeah, yeah registered, yeah. Mm -hmm. registered nurse. So the other one is the LPN. I'm not sure the difference, but yeah, she, she's no, always telling me. No. Um, yeah. Now, who, is, who did you say the insurance company was? Progressive. Progressive, yeah. okay. Check with my husband. And then also, um, who's the mortgage company on the house? Uh, actually, we're picking it off. You did not. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm really jealous. Good job. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, okay. Just only reason I ask is because when Progressive makes a payment, they usually pay you, and they also put the mortgage company on it. But when mm -hmm. they make the payment, that's going to go straight to you, mm -hmm. and it'll come in the mail, and they'll also send a uh, 
They'll also send the estimate with it. Now, do you know how much the deductible is for the policy? Uh, maybe. Uh, can you put it in later? Yeah, or I I'll, have just to put, I'll just put to be determined okay. over here. Mm -hmm. It's probably 1% of the value of your home. Okay. That's what Ranjit has over here and uh, Morali on the other side. So this is a really nice neighborhood, so obviously, you know, they don't want you to call them out here if there's not really any damage. Um, but I'm going to put down here um, my name, and I've got my name up here, mm -hmm. and then when your husband gets home, please have him give me a call. Sure. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to also put that for our materials, the Owen Corning, but we might um, we might be able, so obviously because you guys live on the corner here, and a lot of your neighbors don't really know that they have damage yet, some of them have just like you called in for their car, mm -hmm. and we're always looking to, you know, make a good representation of the company. Um, if we were able to give you a little bit of a thicker shingle, we have a, we have a, special going where you actually get a discount with your insurance, it's called impact resistance, mm -hmm. and it's a thicker shingle. Um, what we would ask in return is that we can just put a sign in front of the house, um, letting your neighbors know. No problem. Okay, let me, uh, your, your color right now is a steak gray, and the drip edge color is white. So let me call my manager first. Because sometimes in these nicer neighborhoods, um, it really holds the thicker shingles up there, and then the other neighbors are going to pay for it. But at least we can say, hey, take a look, this is what it looks like. Um, but don't tell your neighbors that we pay for your upgrade on the Hey, Andrew, uh, this is Nick. Uh, how are you doing? Hey, real good. I was going to ask you, um, I'm over here on Paisano Drive in Frisco. Um, you know you know the little neighborhood on the corner where it's all brand new houses and there. It's a lot nicer than all the, all the other houses around here. Paisano Drive. The promotional area that we had... Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'm here, I'm here speaking with Ming Li, and uh, she said that if we were able to put um, a little bit of a better shingle, she would probably be able to put a sign out there. Um, let me ask. Do you okay. Do you know the, the type of shingle that's up there? It looks like a 30, it looks like a builder grade 30 year. Mm -hmm. Okay, do, do you know some of your neighbors, a couple of your neighbors? Yeah, there? sure. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he said basically, if we can put a sign in the yard, and we don't tell the neighbors we paid for the upgrade, um, then we can go ahead and do that for just this corner house. We will have to put a sign, one sign over here, and then one sign coming around the corner. Mm -hmm. And when we're done, obviously, if there's any way that we can improve, um, this is a great chance to let us know. We will ask you to write a review about the company after everything's done. Okay. Yep, she said that's fine. Promo code XP C3PO. Got it. Okay. I will let her know. Thank you. Okay. So. Uh, you mean this type is will be thicker than uh, my current roof? Yeah. So what happens is your insurance company is liable for like and kind. 
So they come out, everything they look at, this is a builder grade window, there's a specific price for that. Mm -hmm. So I can't, I can't really argue the price, I can just argue the scope of work. Mm -hmm. I could tell them this has damage, this has damage, you have to fix it, they set the pricing. Mm -hmm. But if they come out and pay for a 30 year shingle, which is what you have, mm -hmm. we're going to put on, it's not really even thicker, it just has a different emulsion in it, so it actually is resistant to hail, mm -hmm. and if you get another storm you don't have to switch it out. Uh, now it's not hail proof. So don't misquote me. Mm -hmm. You get a discount with your insurance because statistically it's less likely to, to end up getting damaged. Um, it is a little bit thicker, but I don't want you to think about that because if you look at it, it's going to look real similar. There's going to be a little, like a little warranty card that mm -hmm. we'll give you ultimately, and you'll mail that to your insurance. It's called a class four. So, do you think that we have to negotiate with the insurance? company about this better, Nope. We're, we're going to cover the cost of it. So they're, still, they're, they're only going to pay for what's there. There's okay. really no negotiating. So that you will pay the difference? We'll pay the difference and I'm going to put that in writing so that you can kind of show your husband okay. what we talked about. Okay. Now yeah. the deal is obviously don't tell okay. any of your neighbors. I will because, not and okay. you will only do the two for the road couple signs out there right yeah. and if, if any of things or where? Um, no it's actually it's we're fine. just gonna like paint the whole front of the house no I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. it's a, it's about this big the little sign uh -huh. um, you'll probably see some of them in, in the neighborhood we're actually working with a couple of your different neighbors okay so how long um, just until the work's done it should be um, you know in a couple weeks everything will be gone and obviously if your HOA calls you up and says hey we can't have any signs in the neighborhood just call me right away and we can come move it, but some of your neighbors are going to have to make decisions pretty fast who they're going to work with, so it really helps us out. Okay, sure. And so, then, not permanent. No, no, okay. no, 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 <laughs> don't worry, nothing permanent. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give um, Progressive a call. I want you to remember the storm date, because they're going to ask you this. 26? 26th, that's right, Sunday the 26th. And if they ask you any other questions, about the timeline, mm -hmm. I would recommend you don't answer them. Um, the 28th, we had a windstorm, and that's why Ranjit's roof is, you can see from your backyard, he's actually missing a bunch of shingles. Oh no. Yep, and that's what's unfortunate is the hail is because of this date, and the wind is because of this date, so sometimes that becomes too deductible. So just remember how insurance works, and if they ask you, say, hey, I have a contractor, his name is Nick, Please ask him any questions. He just showed me pictures and said it's damaged. The less you say, the better. Got it. Um, yeah, kind of makes sense here. So, okay. So I just need your authorization right here mm -hmm. and your um, initials here. And once they ask about the storm date, I'll cut that down for you. Mm -hmm. over here. So after I sign this, is what? After you sign this. After you sign this, you show this to your husband, mm -hmm. and this is stating that if they don't pay for a full roof, this is void. Okay. If they do pay for a full roof, if they do pay for a full roof, we're only asking to do the work for whatever they pay. That's called the RCV value. Mm -hmm. Your only out-of-pocket cost cannot exceed the deductible. So that's like your copay with the insurance. And we're putting in writing that anything that we talked about fixing that they don't cover, you don't have to pay for. So we just basically ask if we get everything approved and work with your insurance, you don't kind of go looking for like the lowest, you know. The okay, so case. that means after I sign, you, um, you, you and the negotiate and everything settled down, you will come to fix it. I only need to pay the deductible. Correct. Yep, okay. exactly. So if you and the insurance didn't negotiate very well, didn't agree. And, uh, yeah, so what else? So if we don't agree that it needs to be replaced, this is void. Okay. So you don't owe me any money. Okay. If they, if they just say, hey, we're going to give you $3,000 and we want you to repair this shingles over here, we can do that. My recommendation is we keep fighting to get all of it approved, but you're not obligated mm -hmm. to do that. Okay, so this is only, we will only pay the deductible, only the agreement is that here right. between you and the insurance company. Exactly, exactly. So. And this is also stating that we're paying for the upgrade mm -hmm. for the impact resistance, the class four, and then we're going to 
take a look at the deductible. Once they come out here, they're going to send you the estimate, and we'll sit down again um, after we, we see what they're going to say, and then we'll talk about price, material, all that stuff. Okay. Um, do you mind if I call my husband? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, and I want to meet your husband and sit down before the material too, just because if we don't like the color, it's really hard to see later. <laughs> I have no idea about the house, but maybe if you have some uh, little tiny yeah. idea about it, please do the structure you do. Yeah, well, and you guys probably have uh, you guys you guys probably have an HOA. Yes, we do. And sometimes they're a little bit strict with the uh, colors. We don't want everybody to have the same color to yeah. value it, so we can check with random also before we uh, order material. Hello, hello, this is Nick Dorsic with ASAP Roofing. 